A California sea lion grabs a girl, a young girl from a dock, pulls her under water. This was in British Columbia. This is all caught on video, watch. He's like, I'm bigger than you. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. According to The Guardian, uh, Professor Andrew Trites, who's the Director of Marine Mammal Research Unit at the University of British Columbia, he wants everyone to know the sea lion is not at fault, amen. He says, quote, my first reaction to the video is just how stupid some people can be to not treat wildlife with proper respect. This was a male California sea lion. They are huge animals, they are not circus performers, they're not trained to be next to people. The little girl has her back to the sea lion and it would appear that the sea lion sees part of her dress, thinks it's food, because they were giving the sea lion food, reaches up, grabs at the food and pulls her by the dress, but it wasn't food, of course. Because this family, they were yeah. giving the sea lion Prior. pieces of bread, the sea lion had already snapped at the girl How prior. No, already baiting the sea lion. <laughs> yeah, as soon as he hops up the first time, you see another guy's hand being like, woohoo. <laughs> the sound they make is yeah. like, oh, it's just me. Look, you had enough warning people because it's called a sea lion. They're not calling it a sea kitten. They're calling it a fucking lion. Would it's you not go a up to a lion and be like, oh, hi. The, the, the sea lions, first of all, you, you're used to seals being trained, not sea lions. And the seals you see trained are, in, are, are like broken. We yeah. break their spirit and we put them in like a small thing and say, here's how you get fish is you do a twirl. Like those ones are even That's sadder cool. than this one who's just living yeah. free and, this, and like, oh, food. And this, this one thought lion. it was food. It yeah. was dope. I, I, I could totally understand how the sea lion thought the little girl was food. Watching the video, and I didn't mean to laugh, but it's funny to watch. I mean, I understand it's a dangerous situation, but it's, I mean, that child was snatched. I did not know that a sea lion had that much power. So. And then I also thought like, Save the glasses too in the water. Don't want the glasses yes. drown. I, the I was like, okay. I mean, the girls, of course, the most, most important thing. Yeah, How absolutely. terrifying if that was your daughter. But right. Yeah, though, don't have yeah. your daughter dangling over a dock and like feeding a sea lion. You got to be smart. And there were there were signs everywhere saying, right. don't feed these sea lions. These sea lions could bite. There's yeah. an update, right? This yeah, is, I'll give you the update. Yeah, this is. It, this story is like, I can laugh about this because everyone's <laughs> fine and we all learned hopefully a very important lesson, lesson because of how viral it went. Because this girl's fear for a moment and then ultimate safety forever, let's hope. Um, I hope she's eternal, well, she's, I hope she lives forever. That, yeah, um, she's not gonna get that close to sea lion. Right, ever again. Like, I, hope, you know, I hope that we all learned a valuable lesson here. That sea lion was just like living its best life, <laughs> honestly. It was like, wow, these idiot humans are coming this close and feeding me like I'm gonna have well, a field day. I, I would imagine the sea lion, and this is just through my own experience in Santa Cruz, because we have wharfs and docks in Santa Cruz where, the sea, where, where people do feed the sea lions too. Now there is like a 40 foot dock, so they toss it in, but, and surfing too, I've been on a surfboard and seen sea lions circle us, it always scared the shit out of me, but I've also been next to my friends that are surfing and a sea lion will literally rest its head on the foot of my friend's surfboard. So I've seen all that, I understand why some people think that they're friendly, mm -hmm. but never once did we think to be like, oh, sea lion, let's play. Like you just know that's a <laughs> wild animal, that's crazy. Okay, so. I would have been, if I was surfing and I saw a sea lion, I would have been that guy that would have been like, yes, let's play with the sea yeah, lion. Yeah, me too. Because they're so like cute. They are cute, but it's still terrifying. I mean, right. have you seen their teeth? They're sharp yeah. as fuck. Well, they're, now I'm even more jacket. scared because like th that sea lion yeah. literally snatched that girl with a quick. Yeah, but it, it was, they are like, I, I want to also say that, yes, you can't trust any wild animal, but they are, they are so sweet and playful. But yeah, you just never know. So going on to the update, because you never know, because it is a wild animal, the post officials all over British. Columbia are lambasting, according to CBC. You love that Great word. word. You okay, love go. that word, lambasting the parents, Don't calling the parents me. reckless, saying that this was reckless behavior. If you look on social media, people are calling for the parents to suffer some consequences. Some they saying that this is- They just did. Saying that I'm just <laughs> They had to watch their kid get pulled over, boy. Right. 
But what if the what if the child died? What if the child was drugged underneath then the water? Then they would have suffered some worse okay. consequences. All right, so let me just continue to play devil's advocate. Are so you saying they should have killed the kid? <laughs> Sam, let continue. me play devil's advocate. I don't and Sam. first, first, let me read um, some more quotes from Robert Keisman. He's the chair of the Stevenson Harbor Authority, which was right there, and he said that there are several signs posted at the popular tourist destination warning the people not to. Feed those sea mammals, not only because the sea, uh, the sea lions are everywhere, but that 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 the dock is so close to the water. That's what's terrifying, as opposed to some wharfs that maybe we're familiar with in San Francisco and Santa Cruz and things like that. And then also, um, he says here, quote, you wouldn't go up to a grizzly bear in the bush and hand him a ham sandwich. So you shouldn't be handing a thousand pound <laughs> wild mammal in the water slices of bread. And you certainly shouldn't be telling your little girl sit on the edge of the dock with her dress hanging down after the sea lion has already snapped at her once. Wow. Wow, he's really mad. I mean, because this has to be an example for other people sure. too. This is a very heavy tourist destination. And yes, when you're this high up from a sea lion, <coughs> can you imagine the cost? And what if what if the sea lion did drag her down and then someone there did something to the sea lion? We saw it with Harambe, right? Like, mm -hmm. so it puts the, the animal at risk too, and the animal's not doing anything wrong. I agree, Sam. I don't think, listen, the girl's fine. I think people that that want the parents to be held accountable are dumb. I think it's all good in the hood. The girl survived. The sea lion's fine. It was, for lack of a better phrase, it was great. So it was funny to watch because it was. I'm sorry, audience. It was a funny video. It is. It's a funny video. It is. But at the end of the day, keep it moving. You know, like no one's hurt. They should. No one. There's no one to be. The parents, like you said, Brett, are probably traumatized that their child was almost ended by this animal, and but she wasn't. Thank God, praise Oprah. That's all, keep <laughs> moving. I will say, way to go, grandpa. Even if it's not her grandpa, but like that dude who was just like, I don't care. I'm not fast, gonna take, fast I'm not gonna reflexes. drop my sunglasses. Yeah. I'm not gonna take my wallet, my phone out of my pocket. He's like in there, and I think yeah. Apple should give him a new phone. I also <laughs> think this could be a good opportunity for the internet as a whole to go look up sea lion videos from National Geographic, which I have done extensively. How is that? Uh, oh, it's, it. well just take a moment to respect these animals after you know watching this. Know that they are dangerous, but they should be you know revered and respected. And there's some really cool videos to show you just exactly how lucky this girl is and right. the sort of damage that is awesome in the wilderness that they can do and why we shouldn't mess around with wildlife. Well, have you, the ones in Santa Cruz, mm -hmm. all you, if you've seen Finding Dory, mm -hmm. that I mean, aside from being friendly and helping, that's what they're like. They just lie on platforms. They're like dogs. And like, then when another one tries to get on the platform, they're like, get down! <laughs> <laughs> but they will no. fuck up some penguins, no. though. Oh, I don't want to hear that. They will. That's, but <laughs> that's you know what? That's survival of the fittest. Penguins. That's nature. Yes, that's nature. But the that's ones, what I'm saying. yeah, I don't want to. The girl was about the size of a penguin. Yeah. Yeah. The ones and that are probably delicious. The ones that I've seen know, play with us in the surf were so sweet. But again, it doesn't mean that I'm going to go try and play catch with it in the middle <laughs> of the ocean. Mark, I just I brought home the straight, straight dog-ish. It has whiskers. Yeah. <laughs>